let's take some time now to take a high-level look at your results. We have entered some slightly exaggerated results for the purposes of analysis and explanation. Let's start with resources, which has a preparedness score of 84%. What we are seeing then is that this organization has a great deal of the things they are going to need to respond to an incident and continue their services. They do not have everything, but they have a lot of what they need. Procedures, on the other hand, do not look so good. With a preparedness assessment score of only 24%, they are not ready to respond to the incident and continue their services. In short, they don't really know what they would do to respond to a disaster. Crisis competencies are right in the middle. At 44%, they feel they have some of the training and experience to enable them the fortitude to function throughout the disaster, but much has been untested and not practiced. This gives us a total preparedness score of 51%. Let's look briefly at the Recoverability Confidence Index. What it's telling us is that we ought to have very little confidence that this organization could recover its services in an effective and efficient manner by the time those services were needed. Why is this score so low? Because of the nature of the interactions between the three factors of resources, procedures, and competencies. Consider this quick example to see why. Imagine a manufacturing company that was comprised entirely of Navy SEALs, each of whom knew exactly how to recover their services. Yet, suppose they had no backup manufacturing locations or equipment and didn't have the money to purchase any. What is the likelihood that they will recover within the targets of time and degree? You can think of this recoverability confidence index in a handful of different ways, such as what percentage of our recovery will go smoothly? What percentage of our services will we recover efficiently? What percentage of our services will we recover within the desired targets of time and degree? What are the odds that we will recover the core elements of our business? And how well should I sleep at night? Now let's turn to a slightly more in-depth analysis of the results.